So I am calling again on the Prime Minister to resign from being the Minister of Education or mm -hmm. turn up to work. That call again, made by the President of the Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA, Owen Speed, for a full-time, present, and functioning Minister of Education. Mr. Speed says the Prime Minister must appoint an Education Minister now. I must call on the Prime Minister again to resign from being the Minister of Education because we need to have a full Minister. The Prime Minister's taking it on to himself to be the Minister of Education. But it's nine, more than nine months now since we are, without, we are without a full minister. And he has not turned up to work one day yet. And if I, if I as a principal for a school, didn't turn up for nine days, not nine months now, then I would be sanctioned. But why is it so important? Well, the Jamaica Teachers Association has been having meetings with the Ministry of Education every month. Mm -hmm. And since March, as you know, since the exit of Mr. Reed, yes. Honorable Minister at the time, since then, the Prime Minister took it on to be the Minister. And since that time, March of 2019, we have, he has not come to a single meeting with us for even one minute. But he is a designate person to do so. Yes. But I'm saying that the person who is the minister should be the person who we're having a dialogue with. And if you have an interim minister, I am saying that the, the time is right. It has long passed. And if you say you are so inclined with um, education and education is the key to success and all of these nice terms that they use, mm -hmm. then it is that you must have a full minister for education. Former Education Minister Royal Reed was sacked from the post on March 20, 2019. The Prime Minister has since taken on the role as Education Minister. In the meantime, the JTA President paused to commend the work being done by the Minister with responsibility for education, Carl Samuda. I must give this Acting Minister a lot of credit, though, because quite a number of things that we have put to them yes. since I've come in, um, certainly. He has tried to address them and we must give them credit. Michael Sharp, Frontline News.